Welcome to part two of our ride to the future. Hi everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. And we're back at the neighborhood Walmart for part two of our ride to the future. Uh, these are golf cart rides we're doing in five segments over a few weeks. Uh, it's that will go from Lake Sumter and end at the future area of construction in the villages. It hasn't even broken ground yet. So before we uh, continue, I wanted to do a shout out to Bob of Marsh Bend. Uh, who came up and introduced himself to us, one of our viewers. Uh, and we really enjoyed talking with we him. We did enjoy uh, so talking to him. So glad he did that. Yeah, so shout out to you, Bob. And today, again, we're going to start here at the Walmart Neighborhood Market, and we're going to continue down to the Rohan Recreational, uh, it's Regional Recreational Center. Yeah. So let's get started. Let's go. All right, pulling out of the Walmart Neighborhood Market. Another sunny day here in the villages. With a full tank of gas this yes. time. We're going to start off with a full tank. Don't want the stress of running out. <laughs> we weren't that close last time. Now straight ahead here is, what golf course is that? Uh, Let's see, it looks like it's, uh, it's going to be right here, Sarasota Golf Course. Okay, Sarasota. I don't know if they still do this or not. I know a couple years ago, they did night golf there. Glowing ball, glowing stick, the, the pin glowed or something. I'm not exactly sure the how necklace, it was done. Like, that's what I heard. Necklace. Yeah, yeah I, I'd seen some videos of people that had done it before. But uh, that course, they used to have it. I, again, I don't golf, so I don't know for sure if they still do. But uh, I'll try and find out. And then coming up here on the right, get in the golf cart path here. Get back on the multimodal path. All right, uh, on the right here, this is the Aqua Range. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up here at the lot so they can see it. I aimed for the island. I never made it. I always went to my balls. Always went in the water. Yeah, it's a the Aqua Range is uh, it's um, a driving range that you're aiming out into the water. The balls here float. Pull into this lot. Oh, look, look at all it the people. Busy. It is packed. There's a line of people behind them. That's what we did. We won't stay here because I'm not in the parking space. I'll get you a little view real quick. There's the island that they're aiming for. You can see one yeah. island. There's some bigger ones for. behind the bush there you can't yeah. see. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of people out here today. So, Automated uh, machine that can give you the balls to go out in shoot. the basket. You, you might not be able to see, but you can um, put it, your money into the coin slot over there and get a basket of balls. Yeah. All right, we'll continue on. There are a couple of driving ranges. There's a couple of driving ranges in the villages, um, but this is this is the one that this I've is fun. Used. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. All right, back on the multimodal path. We're going to be heading south on Morris Boulevard. We're in the area of 466A. That's where the Walmart was. And across. we're actually going to have to go north for a little bit on the path here so we can get to the tunnel that will let us get to the other side where the main path will head south. That island is almost looking Thank white you. with all the golf balls on it. Yeah. yeah. The uh, beach, and it might have got a glimpse of it. Was there? It's all the white golf balls sitting on the on beach. On the line, as they floated to the shore. Go come pick those up later. I wasn't paying attention. Did I miss the tunnel? No, it's up here on the left. See the golf cart just went down. Yeah, you're going right there. There it is. Yeah, it wasn't far. So that little path we were on just feeds over there to the Walmart and to the, uh, the uh, driving range. Yeah. So we're back on the main path. 
heading south on Morris. See the little green sign in front of Morris Boulevard Pass South. intersection I'll show you there's a uh, one of the larger fire stations the village's fire department stations um, I'm a retired fire deputy fire chief of a department up in Virginia so I like kind of paying attention and watching these guys um, they remind me a whole lot of our department back home although they've got a, a lot more stations here but very good professional group the station here it's station 44 We'll get a better view when I come around the corner here in a little bit. Like this, where some of their administrative staff, I believe, are at that station. But their their stations fit like all the other buildings in the villages. They are decorated in a way to to fit the neighborhood. Yeah, you're gonna be able to get a better view around this corner here. It's straight ahead. That's part of the building directly ahead. Yeah, it's station 44. It's the and the bays are on the sides there, so you can't really see where the bays are. Yeah. It's a gorgeous building though, it really is. Yeah. Alright, we'll continue south. And that golf course way over on the left hand side, that's the same one. We had to kind of go around in a little yeah. bit of a circle to get going. That's the same one that we started with. No, no this is actually Volusia. Ah, Volusia, okay. We went a little bit further south than on the map. Gotcha. And again, these these uh, golf courses along Horse Boulevard have a lot more hills to them. A lot more challenging, I would assume, if you're a golfer. The next neighborhood we're coming up to on the left is the village of LaBelle. I got like how on these parts of the golf cart path, it divides sometimes. You might be able to tell there you've got, I'm southbound here and that's what come together ahead of northbound side. So they'll do that occasionally and they put some, uh, Nice uh, landscaping. Trees and landscaping in the yeah. middle, yeah. We're coming across traffic now. Yeah. Yeah, traffic is up a little bit more today. And you're looking at the back side of LaBelle, the village of LaBelle on your left. You may notice uh, on some of those houses over there the bird cages. And somebody, well, I mentioned a bird cage to people up in my home in Virginia. They didn't know what I was talking about. They were, I just assumed they did. And so they were wondering why I was having a cage for, you know, keeping birds yeah, at my house. Yeah, they thought it was actual pet birds. Yeah, and uh, so in the backyard, we're having a bird cage built. And that's what they thought. But a bird cage is a screened area where people usually put a pool. They, uh, it may just be to enlarge their lanai but, or screen in their backyard. Because uh, it is Florida, we do have some bugs. So uh, it's nice to have that screened in area. And especially with pool, you have that. Not only does it keep bugs out, but any leaves or anything else blowing around just keeps your pool clean. And so keeps, that's, that's and, what a bird cage is. And keeps our cockapoo. <laughs> <laughs> Now they, uh, this is the village of Charlotte. We're passing now. A, uh, a kind of a funny story on a house we rented one time with the bird cage. It uh, we went out there one day and it actually was doing the opposite of what it was supposed to. I went out and sitting on a table was a very large hawk. Yes, hawk inside the bird cage. It was a, it was out. like 12 inches high. I mean, it was it was large, huge. And uh, 
we eventually figured out what had happened. I was able to, he was fine. He wanted out. Um, I opened the door and used a, a, a broom just to kind of coax him and he'd fly around. Eventually he flew out that door and he was absolutely fine. Um, yeah, he may have, he, he may have been terrified. I was probably a little terrified. <laughs> but, uh, I right. couldn't believe it. I was cooking and looked out there, yeah. and he was just on the back of a chair, yep. st so, sitting there. So what had happened, apparently he was flying along at speed, just the way the light was. You know, occasionally a bird will fly into a window. That's happened to us up in Virginia or something. And it was just swooping along, and it managed to hit the screen and went right through it. We found just right. We yeah. found area where he had hit it, and his beak must have started the rip, and he just split right through. And the screen on that was a little bit older, so it may have been brittle. Uh, but he went right all through. It didn't hurt him, thank goodness. Yeah. And uh, You could tell he wasn't hurt at all. Yeah, he, he sat in there until we found him, I guess, a few hours later. And uh, Sitting on the back of the chair, uh, absolutely fine. So that bird cage was built, apparently, to keep a bird in. <laughs> you had to open the door to get him out. See another golf course over to our left? Yes. Uh, That's part of the Belle Country Club. Ah, uh, yeah. Belle Glade Country Club. Uh, a lot of people talk about the food there. That it's, it's good. Um, and all of them are good. I hear that one a lot. Yes, I do too. Yeah, it's supposed to have some great views over the course. Um, it's not right here on Morse Boulevard. The, the, um, the it's holes, awful. the greens are, but... Yeah. It's on the, Lawyer Loop. Yeah, it's it's a block or two off of the main road here. Yeah. To get to that or else that drives through the parking lot. Yeah. That'll be one of the bucket list restaurants. Yeah. I'm going to try and see if we had a, a bird cage went by there. I was going to try and point out a, a bird cage. But these houses are kind of a little closer to the road. So they don't really have room for a bird cage on these specific homes. I think we'll see some There's further one. up. I think I see it's kind of off to the side there. Yeah. Here's a couple of bird cages. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple more. And I got bushes that are blocking here. Okay, All you right. want to uh, get a decision point? Down. I need to head down here to the tunnel. Yes. If you stayed straight, it would just feed into other neighborhoods. And this is coming up to that rec center. Uh, this is the, I don't know how to say it, I'm going to put it both. It's either Burnsed or Burnst. Uh, rec Center. Rec Center. I should know how to say that. One of the clubs I meet with, the uh, Drone Flyers Club, actually meets there. I so, like, uh, I still don't know like how a, to say it. Yeah, it looks like a log cabin. I love the decoration. I'm going to pull in that lot real quick since it's right here on the path. Kind of log cabin-y feel. It does. But you can see it's there, the how to spell it. <laughs> Burns, Burns said, I don't know. If somebody knows exactly how to say it, let a comment know. below. Let of course, us know. I'll still read it the same way if you type it in the comments. So I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a video a should, recording should, of how it's yeah. said. Or we should go in here and ask the. <laughs> You see, this People. is a kind of a rustic feel to this one. Oh, look at that. The All the wagon wagon wheels centers are decorated differently. So, um, but yes. I like this one yeah. a lot. All right, heading back to Morris. Now that was a village recreation center, not a regional recreation center. A little bit smaller than the regionals. Oh, I'm gonna go continue left. where I was here. Yes. That's where we turned into the recreation center. We're continuing now. And this is the resident um, entry into Osceola Hills. Yeah, Osceola Hills is actually on both sides of the road. They have two sections of it. Um, yeah. And one section has some of the premier homes we talked about in a previous video. And uh, they're really, really nice. Some of the larger homes. That's across the street at Soaring Eagle. Yeah. And everybody does it. When Christmas comes along, everybody does a great job of decorating. But I always like to ride through the Osceola Hills at Christmas and look at decorations also. Some of the larger homes. I love looking at Christmas decorations. 
this year we'll be able to come up here on the golf cart. I just yes, we that. will. Because until the bridge opened up, I mean, we've been doing it in our truck and a car. Yep, because we live south of 44, uh, excuse me, south of the turnpike. Yeah. And uh, so our bridge just opened. We haven't been able to come up to this side of the turnpike by golf cart, golf cart since we moved in a couple years ago. So but, this is all new and wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we have driven a lot of this before uh, when that we rented. Yes, yeah. in the month of July. Yeah. We learned a lot of this. And we purchased our golf carts from the Village Golf Cart Store. And they they did a great job of if you purchased a cart from them and you live south of, of the Turnpike, uh, you were able to come and borrow one anytime you wanted if it was available. You didn't have to pay a fee. They didn't even make me pay for gas to return it. So you could pick up a cart. That was part of their sales pitch if you bought a new cart from them. Until the bridge opens. Yeah, until the bridge opens. Right. Uh, can't do that now. But we did it several times yeah. before. And, and even if you did that on the north side, and you, you're up here on this side of the turnpike and you bought one, you would be able to pick one up at the Red Fox and Gray Fox golf courses down in the uh, area where we live, you were able to pick one up there uh, to use. But again, all that was prior to the bridge opening, that was a good deal to help us out so that we could still enjoy coming up here and use a cart occasionally. Now we can take our own. That's right. I hadn't even thought about seeing the Christmas lights by golf cart this year, but that's yeah. what we'll be able to do for sure. Yeah. Now, a lot of this land to the right and to the left uh, is just is natural land, uh, Marsh marshes, land, yeah. and beautiful country out there. We'll be coming up on the right hand side, and I'll cut across to it. I'm hoping there's a tunnel coming up here. Uh, you just said it, and there, there you got it. Here it comes a tunnel. Soaring Eagle Softball Complex. Yes. Soaring Eagle Softball Complex is one of many softball com complexes. It's fairly popular here playing ball. Uh, yeah. Lots of places to do it. Lots of, of, uh, of teams. Uh, some set by age and different things. So you can find something that suits your needs. And it's four softball fields on most. Actually, this one's only two here. Uh, they, down at Everglades, there's four. Several of them have four of them put back to back. Here they have the two because there's also a couple other things here. I'll pull up to it and show you. Okay, it's a Soaring Eagle softball complex. Yeah. There he is. There's the dugout for this side. There's also an air gun range back here. Which is a lot of fun. Yeah, we have one down in uh, DeSoto also. And there's some other ones, I believe, but these are the two that I'm aware of. We but, did that, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. There's an air gun range, yeah. and the villages will supply the air gun and the ammunition and the Target. targets for you to use uh, to come and do that. You do have to take their initi initial safety course for it. Um, so. You can't just walk out here and do it until you've done that. But once you've done the course, you can come and do that whenever you like. And, the, and there are clubs that meet yeah. to do shooting together. And the course was just a one day. It was um, a couple hours in, a, in the morning. I mean, it wasn't an all day course. Yes. So when you say course, you know, it's not weeks of it. It's just yeah. a day, yeah. a couple hours in a day. And it was very enjoyable. Yeah, it was. All right, we'll go back over to that tunnel and head back through. Another thing here at Soaring Eagle, uh, the Drone Flyers Club has that reserved on Tuesday mornings from uh, 8, I believe. It might be a little early, but until noon, uh, where they come and practice flying their drones. And I'm a member of that club, so yeah, that's that's where they fly, and it's really neat because on the back side of those uh, of the softball area is a lot of that nature area that you can fly over. And what is that Lake Deaton over there? I yes, Lake, it's Deaton's Lake Deaton over there behind the behind the some of the marshland. Yes. So there's some neat areas to see. 
Maybe I'll try and get some video of that sometime. All right, so we're going to continue back south. And you, I don't know if you can see it yet, but in the far left in the distance is the bridge. Yeah, I'll pull over here. Nobody's coming behind me. Over here real quick. And a lot of times you'll find people come out for sunsets and things. You can see the bridge there. That is the bridge that goes across to Chitty Chatty. Um, that bridge opened in October? I think it was October uh, this, yeah, 2020. 2020. That was the first of the three main bridges to open. So, to connect us. Uh, yes, yeah. to get everything connected. And at night, the way they have it lit is really, really pretty. It really is. Oh, got more traffic and something's coming to the left too. Can't see on the camera, but we're waiting for traffic to come by. <laughs> Uh, Safety first. This one and this one. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, back on the path. Back on the path. Look how pretty this lake is. We'll be arriving and here shortly at the Rohan Recreation Regional Recreation Center, which was our final destination on this trip. And this is one of the larger ones. Here we get onto the main road yeah. and go over to the recreation center. On our next trip, we'll start here again and we'll continue on farther south into some of the new construction areas. We'll go across the bridge there. And we're going to head to the area of Chitty Chatty and continue farther south to the Aviary Recreation Center. So that'll be on the next episode. But today we have arrived. At Rohan Recreation Center. The Regional Rec. Regional Recreation. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you next time. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our second leg of our ride to the future. Uh, when we went from the neighborhood market of Walmart to the Rohan Regional Recreation Center. So it was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. All right. So next time, we're going to be continuing from here at the Rohan Regional Recreation Center to the aviary recreation center we're going to go over one of the new bridges through chitty chatty and head that direction so that'll be coming up on our next episode we'll have a few other videos before that but the episode of our uh, road a ride to the uh, future will be coming in a couple of weeks so until then do us a favor give us a thumbs up if you would hit the subscribe button down there in the corner if you haven't already subscribed we do appreciate you guys and ring the bell so that you'll be notified the next time that we explore the villages.